Uh, hello and good evening. Welcome to the Shack of EI 2KC. Um, I wanted to make a little short video to talk briefly about something called the Reverse Beacon Network. <clears throat> For those of you who are interested in CW or Morse code like I am uh, and who are unfamiliar with it, um, the best way I can explain it is that the Reverse Beacon Network is a series of what are called skimmer stations and these are hams with a radio uh, a, a, some sort of a, a, a HF receiver that's connected to a computer that has software running on it that basically listens uh, to the um, CW portions of various bands and automatically decodes the CW and where it hears a CQ it basically spots it automatically to this web based cluster well it's like a cluster uh, called the reverse beacon. Now the address for that if you're interested in um, having a look at this yourself, the address is www.reversebeacon.net It's easy to remember, Reverse Beacon Network, reversebeacon.net um, One of the best applications for the Reverse Beacon Network is uh, for the ham that's perhaps comparing antennas. Uh, I think this is probably its uh, foremost benefit. Um, so if you have, for instance, I'm going to do a test here tonight on 30 meters on 10 megahertz on CW. I have an inverted V uh, that's resonant on 30 meters. I also have a butternut vertical that's resonant on 30 meters. And what I intend to do is to put out a CQ call, a brief CQ call on both antennas. I'm going to have a look at the um, the signal reports because what happens is that the the station that uh, is decoding your signal, and these are all automated, this isn't done manually. Uh, they spot their own call sign so that you know where you're being heard. They spot your call sign, they spot the frequency that you're on, uh, CQ, and they also tell whether you're on Logbook of the World or not, which is very handy if you need a country uh, confirmed by LOTW rather than traditional QSL card. The signal is given in, in signal to noise ratio in dB. The speed, that's the speed that you're CQing at, and the time and the date. So it's very, very handy. Right, so I've set up the rig here on 10.115 megahertz. At the moment, now I'm going to put my log on just in case somebody does answer me, because it would be rude to put out a CQ and not to uh, have them come back. I'm going to put out a brief CQ uh, on this frequency with the inverted V. When I finish that, we'll have a look at what uh, reports are coming back. Then I'll switch to the button or maybe alter frequency a little bit so that I know that I'll perhaps get um, the same skimmer stations coming back to me with maybe slightly different reports, maybe they'll be the same. So here we go, I'm going to put out a short CQ call on 10.115 on the inverted V. With any luck, nobody will come back because I don't really want to get stuck into a QSO while I'm uh, making the video. Now I have my call sign filtered here on the reverse be beacon network and it's showing me that I was active on 10 meters uh, yesterday morning. Now here we go. I've been heard in Fox 6 India, India Tango in France, 10 dB, signal to noise ratio, Whiskey 3 Lima, Papa Lima. In the States at 16 dB and Kilo Mike 3 Tango also in the States at 13 dB. Now that's three reports from that brief CQ. Uh, there may be more, uh, 2118 Zulu and 2119 Zulu. Uh, there may be more, uh, maybe that's it. The reverse beacon is also very handy as a means of um, finding out what the band conditions are at a particular moment in time. So I know that I've only been heard by one European station and two stateside stations. So I suppose that might give me an indication that perhaps if there were some uh, stateside or even Caribbean stations on that I might have a chance with those. However, the fact that there are only three reports tells me that conditions maybe aren't very good at the moment. So I'm going to briefly switch to the butternut. I'm going to need to tune that slightly. It's not quite resonant there at the moment. Okay, there's 100 watts, and I'm going to change frequency very slightly. 
So I'm going to go to 10.115.5 and I'll put out a brief CQ now with the butternut vertical antenna and see if the reports are any different. Oh, first thing we must always do is to check if the frequency is in use. Q or L is the uh, Q code for is the frequency occupied. I mightn't have done that the first time around and if I didn't, I'm very sorry. A few Vs, I'm ready to transmit. Maybe I'll slow down a bit. Japan. Wow, it's Japan. Fox 1, India, Romeo, Victor. He's hearing me, Tony. 100 watts. India, Romeo, Whiskey. My mistake. And 559 is my report as well. One report. Ken is his name. One report on the Reverse Beacon Network. K1TTT. into a vertical antenna. QSO. See you again. 7-3. Brilliant, brilliant. Only one report on the reverse beacon network from the States and yet I'm being heard in Japan. There you go. Brilliant. 